I, I thought our specialty teams, you know, we, and, and you're right, we had some good moments, we had some bad moments. Uh, to me, on our power play, you know, that one particular power play in the second period was really good, where we basically held it in their zone and had constant pressure and shots, and we won a lot of battles. Um, but there are other power plays where we struggled to get it into their zone and uh, didn't really create any, any momentum out of it. Penalty kill was, you know, for a good part of the, the game, most of the game was very good. You know, but we, we miss an assignment and, you know, they get a goal. So you're disappointed by that. Um, and then Horton's goal, you know, I still consider that a power play goal. But that was a great in individual play by, by him. But our, our specialty teams, you know, had some good moments, had some bad moments. Talk a little bit about Boone Jenner and, and the way he played tonight, drawing as many penalties as he did against uh, Philadelphia. Boone plays hard, and when he moves his feet, he's big and strong. I mean, for, for a young kid, I'll tell you what, I'm, uh, I'm not sure what he's going to be like when he's about 26 or 27 when he hits his prime. But uh, I don't know if there's too many guys that are going to want to play against him when he's that old. And I only say that because that's the prime of a, usually a hockey player's career somewhere in there. And the way he's playing right now, you watch him play as a young kid playing against these, these veteran guys, and they struggle to play against him because he moves his feet, and he's strong, and he's tenacious. And those are great qualities to have uh, as a hockey player. So he, he does a lot of good for our team just by his tenacity. Uh, there, there's only two teams in the NHL who've won eight in a row, and I know you don't like to talk about streaks. You like to go game at a time. But can you speak to the significance of what you've done here? Well, it, it, it's a great accomplish, accomplishment for our for our players. It really is. It's uh, you know I think when we started this streak, what were we 18 and 20? And uh, you know I, I'm not even sure what what was the first game. Was it Rangers? Rangers. So it was in New York. So, you know, it was that tough road trip where we had just lost in St. Louis, end of a road trip going into New York. So it wasn't an easy game, wasn't an easy place to play, and uh, uh, won there. And then, obviously, we've played a lot of these games at home, but this is something that we've talked about as a, as a group, playing better at home, playing better in front of our fans, and, and really trying to create an identity for our team. And I think we've done that. And, you know, there's a, there's a confidence in the room now. I think there's an understanding of how we need to play, what we need to do as a group to have success. And, you know, we have players step up at different times. That's the great thing about it, too, is, you know, it's not one line. It's not only our goalie. It's, you know, we're getting contributions from a lot of different guys. And I think that's probably why the it works with this group. It works with this team is I don't think guys are, are caught up in, you know, the points and all these other things. It's, it's about the wins, and it doesn't matter if he gets it or I get it. It's, it's, it's about the wins right now. Todd, have you been through a comparable stretch like this in your career, either as a player or as a coach, anything that comes close? You know, I, I, there was one time, I think, when I, was in, when I was a player in the IHL, and this is going way back, where we were – I, I, we were close to a record as far as wins, but it's it's tough for me to recall and remember that. I think we lost up in Quebec City. That's when our our streak ended. But that's too far, too far gone for me to remember that exactly what it was. But it's a uh, you know it's it's created a buzz. You know, and there's a lot again a lot of confidence in the room. But the other thing I think it's done is it's created a great buzz in the city. You know, our fans are excited. Um, the media is excited. I had to do three or four radio interviews the other day. And I normally might do one a day. So, you know, there's, there's an excitement in the city. There's, uh, we're getting some acknowledgement from the league as far as the accomplishment and, and, and winning. But that's what goes with winning is, you know, you start to get some respect and you get recognized. and. Um, it's nice to be in that position. Did you have indication that Bobrovsky was, this was a special game for him? Tonight, his first game against his former club, or was there any difference at all from? I didn't sense anything different about him. I didn't sense anything, anything different this morning. I didn't sense anything in the afternoon. You know, if I talked with him briefly, he seemed like the same Bob. 
just just getting ready, you know, good spirits, big smile on his face, ready to play. Could we say at least for five, ten seconds, you smelled the roses there for a moment? Smelled instead, it. Instead of moving on to Buffalo, it seemed like you were enjoying the moment, just that, that win. You paused there. To... Well, you know, one thing at, the, at this level, and I, I like what Doobie said. This is a, going probably a, back a couple games ago. I think he was quoted as saying, you know, winning six or seven in this league is, is hard to do. And I, I, I liked what he said because it is hard. It's, it's tremendously hard at, at, in this league to string some games together like this group has done. Yep. And you do have to enjoy it. And, you, know, I, you know, sometimes I stand up in front of you guys and I say, well, we got to move on. We got to listen. You got to enjoy it, you know, this ride, because, you know, <laughs> this is going back. But when we lost four games early on in the year in a row, then we lost five games in a row. It wasn't a fun place to be around. You know, it wasn't. I'm sure the players didn't enjoy being around me. I probably didn't enjoy being around the players either. And that's the way it goes sometimes. And and when you do get into the middle of these things, you, you certainly have to enjoy it. You know, as a, as a coach, I'm lucky enough, fortunate enough to to be able to be around elite athletes and to be coaching with these guys and to stand behind the bench. I always tell everybody, I got the best seat in the house to watch games. And that's really how I look at my position. And I get to yell a lot. So I can, I can get some emotions out of me. Do you feel, I mean, with, as the wins continue to add up, I mean, do you feel the team staying level-headed? I, I hope we are. As I said, I think, you know, we should learn from from our past that we've been on the other side and, and we know how it is. And we haven't accomplished it. You know, we won seven in a row and we were five points out of last place. So really this winning streak, all it's done is it helped maintain our kind of our status. We have crept up. We put ourselves in, in, a, in a better position. But we haven't accomplished anything yet. We got third, that was our 50th game tonight, right? So we got 32 games left. And that's, there's a lot of hockey. A lot of things can happen within a week. So you, you, you cannot let your guard down. I think you, you need to enjoy it, these moments, uh, but you need to be respectful and, and humble and grateful.